What's good, YouTube? Young Bunnies here. Bring you a battle today against a guy named Kinky Mage. Pretty cool guy. Uh, talked to him in the chat a lot. Um, uploading this. He's got a channel, but he doesn't upload videos. Anyway, looking at my team right now, I got an offensive choice specs in Polion. I got an offensive life orb, Flareon. I've got an offensively oriented Hitmontop. I've got a grass gym, Roserade with the Leaf Storm, the Sludge Bomb, the Toxic Spikes, and most importantly, Covet, which, if you don't know, is a move that allows me to steal an item from the enemy after I use up my grass gym, which is awesome. Now I've got a Calm Mining with Magius and a defensive Chris Elliott. So now, uh, looking at his team, threats, obviously the Chandelure is going to be a problem. Togekiss is going to be a problem. The Zapdos, I don't really know. It could be defensive, could be offensive. But other than that, I'm not too worried about his team. So, let's get right into this battle. Here we go. Alright, so I lead off with my Roserade while he leads off with the Swampert. He's going to be threatened out, which allows me to get up a free layer of Toxic Spikes. Um, he brings in his Hitmontop, kind of predicting that, but that it lets me... Uh, just go for the spin block right here and now I go for the shadow ball but obviously it doesn't affect Togekiss on the switch here um, and now burning him here might have been my worst play of the game because if I was able to get toxic on him um, then he would have been taking much more residual damage but as it is with the burn he can just roost it all off while he pair flinches me to all hell um, and you know I was hoping to get up some calm minds in this Magius here but I keep getting Pair flinched, um, and so I eventually just go for the, the hidden power ice, which doesn't do anything at all, as you can see. Um, so I'm gonna switch out, go into Empoleon here, um, uh, while he roosts up to full health again. See, um, it's a problem with the burn there. Um, and now I'm gonna catch this hip on top with that with the ice beam here on the switch, which does a lot for a resisted hit to a hip on top. Um, but now I'm gonna switch out. Threatened by the by the close combat, but he rapid spins actually. Um, but, but now my Cresselia is going to scare him out as well. Um, and now I got to get out of here because can't take take the uh, ghost type move from the Chandelure. But Empoleon can, even though I'm offensive, I uh, take that really well. So I'm going to go for the Surf while he goes into Swampert, um, and that does a lot of damage to that Swampert. But unfortunately here, um, he outspeeds me and hits me with the Earthquake, uh, which surprised me that he outspeeded me there. But uh, that's all right. Rose Ray's going to scare him out. I'm going to hit the Togekiss with the Leaf Storm. Um, and now important to note there that that used up my Grass Gem, so I am item item free right now. Um, but I'm going to go back into Miss Magius. Right now, n my new plan is to basically to sack this thing off and get a free switch into Hitmontop. <laughs> Um, in order to try to hit the Togekiss with the Stone Edge, uh, but let's see. So yeah, so there, down goes Miss Magius. Going to bring in, bring in Hitmontop. Uh, unfortunately, he's going to switch out here. Um, he's going to go into Swampert. No, he's going to Roost. That's right. He's going, he's going to Roost while I Stone Edge, and so it does nothing because um, it takes away his Flying type. And now he goes into Swampert, and I miss the Stone Edge. Um, now I'm going to go into Cresselia right here to predicting the earthquake or just anything really um, and go for toxic which he switches out hit the chandelier with the toxic on the switch in which uh, that toxic uh, with the with the psychic here is going to be enough to take him out unfortunately I did take a lot of damage there from a shadow ball by staying in but I didn't really have anything I wanted to take take the shadow ball so um, now I'm back kind of to plan plan B where I'm trying to sack this Cresselia off in order to get my switch into hit him on top. Um, I actually now I predict him I think this turn I predict him to roost so I go into hit him on top anyway get the free switch and this uh, was a good prediction he does roost um, but he's going to switch right back out into Swampert which is going to take my stone edge with ease um, now I'm going to switch back into Cresselia, uh, learned his lesson though and goes for Waterfall there. Um, but now back into Togekiss and this is going to be a good game Cresselia, which is fine. Um, that's sort of sort of my plan all along anyway. Um, after a couple turns here, yeah, flinch. Wow. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to get my free switch back into Hitmontop and 
Now this time I actually predicted him, I think I predicted him to roost here like he did the first time. Um, so I'll go for the close combat, but he goes into Swamper, which is fine anyway. Um, because that's going to easily two hit KO it from this range. Uh, so get that Swampert out of there, which is nice. Um, now he is going to go, he's going to go to his own hitman on top, which, so that allows me to switch into Roserade. I can take anything he's got. He's a failed Sucker Punch. Now this is the play of the game right here. I go for the Covet on his switch back into Togekiss, which allows me to take his leftovers, so he's not getting any recovery here, which lets me, brings him down into an easy range for a Sludge Bomb KO. Um, so now, now we got a little bit of a match here. So I take his Mind Shao out with my Manarial Ace. Um, fortunately now my special attack's low enough that I'm going to have to switch out when his Hitmon top comes in. Um, in retrospect, maybe I should have just gone for the gone for the Leaf Storm there so I could then mock Punch his Hitmon top to finish him off. But anyway, um, I'm predicting his Zapdos to come in here. Because I'm, I'm thinking he's going to think I'm going to close combat, so he's going to bring in his Abdos, but he doesn't. Uh, <laughs> and unfortunately, that means that when I finally do take this out with the Stone Edge, I'm at such a low range of HP that uh, his Abdos is going to have no problem taking me out with a Thunderbolt. Um, and now, not knowing his investment here, thought I would, uh, and plus gets a little more Life Orb recoil damage on him, going to Roserade. Fortunately, he is going to take me out and now um, it's up to Flareon so I, I take the Thunderbolt pretty poorly um, get off a of Hidden Power Ice and now I go for the quick attack which brings him down to 2% HP which is going to be enough to take him out with a Life Orb as he takes me out with a Thunderbolt for the tie so uh, great battle Kinky Mage alright guys gonna have some links up here for some other videos you, sh you guys should check out uh, make sure to like comment and subscribe as always and uh, thanks for watching